Hi ladies and gentlemen, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at the boiling points of various alcohols. So first things first, what you need to be doing is grabbing some alcohol. So in this case right here, I'm starting off with methanol. So what you need to do is put around 3 milliliters of the alcohol into the graduated cylinder. Make sure you're not using too much because for this experiment we're not going to be using a whole heck of a lot. So here's how the setup's going to work. So to start off, we're going to have our 250 ml beaker of water. We're going to have our hot plate, which is not on it right now, otherwise I wouldn't be touching it. And we have a retort stand as well as a test tube clamp. This is going to be used so we can clamp our little apparatus, which we're going to make momentarily. So what I did was, at the very, very bottom, I put some of our alcohol that we're going to be testing. So as I mentioned, it's going to be methanol. And inside, you notice a little tiny glass rod. And that's going to be our capillary tube. I'll show you guys how to set up the capillary tube a little later on, but all you need to know is essentially we're putting the capillary tube in with our alcohol and we're going to secure our thermometer with the rubber band. Now be very careful when you're tying the rubber band to both the test tube and the thermometer that you're not making it so tight that it's going to break, otherwise it's going to shatter and you're going to have a really rough time doing this lab. So once you get everything all set up, what you need to do is set it in water but you want to make sure that at no point the thermometer is going to be going past the test tube. If that's the case, you're going to have this part of the thermometer touch the bottom and as a result touch the hot plate. So you're going to get a wrong reading for temperature. So all you have to do is raise it slightly so it's not too too high but it's high enough where you're going to get a bit of clearance. So we're going to place it in our water and we're going to put it in our test tube clamp. So once again, you're just using the test tube clamp to secure it. You're not doing too, too tight because you don't want to have the glass break. So at this point, what I have right now is I have a test tube resting about halfway through the water. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on our hot plate. So our light comes on. You don't want to get too, too hot, right? Because you want to be able to tell the temperature difference and you don't want to heat up too, too fast. So I would set it around medium high and all you have to do is just wait but you want to be careful that you're noticing the inside of your test tube and you want to see if it's actually boiling or not. And slowly but surely you'll see that there's some liquid rising up the capillary tube as well. While I'm waiting for the alcohol in the water to slowly start to boil, I'll have enough time to show you how this whole capillary tube will work. So. In your instructions, it will say that we have a closed end. What we're going to do instead is we're going to have a nice open end capillary tube. So both sides are open on either end. Now, an easy way to get around that is we get a nice big ball of plasticine. And essentially, all you have to do is stab inside, pull out, and you have a nice little piece of plasticine clogging one end. So, if the plasticine is clogging, let's say, this end here, it's sealing it shut, it's going to create a nice little vacuum if you will at the bottom. So I'm going to put the closed end facing up and the open end facing the bottom. So when you actually get your test tube, all you have to do is drop the test tube. So once again, that's the closed top facing up. You're just going to drop it right in ever so slightly and it'll have it rest inside your test tube. Now, with these ones in particular, some in classrooms will use capillary tubes that are plastic, some will use that are glass, but for this particular experiment, we're using something that's made out of glass. So when you're dropping it into the test tube, you want to make sure that you're not dropping it too forcefully or you're not bending it or even stabbing it and twisting, because if you do that, it's going to start breaking and that's no good. So at this point you guys are noticing that our alcohol that we're boiling is starting to have a steady stream of bubbles come up from the top. So at this point what you should be doing right now is turning off your pot plate. Now it's important you listen for that click because otherwise the thing will be going on low and you'll notice that your temperature gauge will not be very accurate. So once you shut it off, what you want to do is look at the gauge of your thermometer and figure out where your boiling point is going to be. So once you're done that, dispose of your chemicals as instructed by our teacher. So when you guys are finished with your alcohol, make sure this thing is cool before you touch it, otherwise it's going to burn your fingers. 
And afterwards, you need to go to the fume hood at the back of the class and find the appropriate wave speaker. So in this case, we have methanol, which is the one we we're using in the previous experiment. So we're going to ever so slightly dump the contents into the beaker. Now be careful you don't drop the capillary tube because that's going to smash as soon as it hits the, the glass. Now let's say you're having a little bit of difficulty trying to get that capillary tube out of your test tube. Well, all you have to do is get a nice set of forceps and you grab the capillary tube very, very gently. Once it's out like this, you can use your fingers. Now once again, you want to make sure that the liquid inside is not still hot because otherwise you'll burn your hands in so many ways. So once you have the capillary tube out, just follow your teacher's instructions on how you can dispose of this little chunky end and how you can clean up the rest of your lab.